Do you want your Christmas cactus to ray bloom? Today, I will tell you what you need to do for that. I will also tell you how to properly pinch your Schlumbergera and why you should do it on a regular basis. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave your opinion in the comments. Why pluck a Christmas cactus? So, regular plucking of Christmas cactus is not only recommended, but is an integral part of its care. This is necessary to achieve a more decorative look for the plant, to rejuvenate its branches, and of course, to encourage abundant blooms, especially repeat blooms. And in case your Christmas cactus has not yet flowered, pinching can also trigger its first flowering. Every time a Christmas cactus looks beautiful after it has been plucked, but over time and under the influence of various factors, it becomes slightly deformed. For example, if it stands in one place for a long time with one side facing a light source, or if it rests against a window or wall with the branches of one of its sides. It turns out that one side becomes more lush and spreading and the other looks more flattened and not so developed. These factors of course influence its shape over time. When to pinch Christmas cactus. The Christmas cactus should be plucked at least a month after it has bloomed, that is after all the flower buds have bloomed and the last bud has also fallen off. Only after a minimum of a month after this can you start the pinching procedure. This is due to the fact that after flowering for about a month, the plant must necessarily be in a state of rest. Christmas cactus can also be plucked in the first month of spring or summer. For example, my Christmas cactus is already a month and a half past its blooming time, so I plucked it now without waiting for spring. This way, it will stimulate my flower to bloom again in the spring. If I pinch it now, I might see it in bloom again in March or April. You should not be afraid to pinch your Christmas cactus as it will bloom more abundantly after this procedure. It is important to realize that buds are formed exclusively on new young shoots. If you have a perennial bush and you notice that the branches are becoming increasingly woody, then your Christmas cactus may not bloom well. On young bushes, on the contrary, buds are formed quickly Christmas cactus is able to grow many more flowers on young branches. There is one more important point. Regular pinching of Christmas cactus allows you to significantly extend its life. Some species of Christmas cactus in apartments can live up to 20 years while blooming profusely every year. However, such results can only be achieved through rejuvenation of the bush, and it is plucking that serves as one of the ways to rejuvenate Schlumbergera. Christmas cactus should be shaped so that it forms a uniform small cap with beautiful branches. Crooked leaves can be safely unscrewed. Don't worry, you are not harming it. In fact, you are, on the contrary, making it better. Trust me, there is nothing scary or harmful to your plant. When we twist off the leaves, the twig becomes heterogeneous and branching grow three segments or more. This will significantly increase the formation of buds, their number, and make flowering more abundant. How to conduct plucking? Choose the desired length for plucking. Grab one two or three segments with your fingers and rotate, twist it clockwise, continuing until it breaks off. Never cut it off with scissors. It is important to rotate as if unscrewing in order to pinch the flower without harming it. After pinching, the Christmas cactus becomes neat and beautiful. Believe me, by next winter you will see it grow twice as big and become even more lush. If by chance there is a piece left somewhere, not evenly torn off, don't worry, it will work itself out. Soon, the Christmas cactus will give new shoots and, most importantly, I repeat, unscrew the leaf, twist it clockwise until it falls off by itself. Never cut it off with a knife or scissors. What to do with detached segments? After the plucking procedure, there are usually quite a few segments left unscrewed. These segments can now be planted in the ground and a new plant can be grown. Before doing so, it is advisable to put them in the open air for at least a few hours to dry out the breakaway point. You can even leave them like this for a few days. Let them just lie there, that's fine. Then insert them into moistened soil and tamp them down a bit. In about two minus three weeks, you will see the first planted segments get turgor and then you will notice new leaves. This will mean that your Christmas cactus has successfully taken root. It is up to you whether you want to pinch your Christmas cactus a month after flowering, in the first month of spring or in the summer. However, if your Christmas cactus like mine blooms in, say, late November or early December, then pinching your Christmas cactus in the first few months of spring with less watering and lower temperatures after pinching will probably trigger it to bloom again. Subscribe, give me a like, and stay tuned for more interesting videos. Your support means a lot to me.